it's finally time to wrap up The Handmaid's Tale as the first look and latest news promise more wars and drama in an unbelievable but shocking twist. The Handmaid's Tale has brought up a lot of sensitive issues happening in Gilead. And finally, there's about to be a closure to the story as the sixth season is about to end June's Tales. However, with the first look into the season, things might not be as straightforward as there are still a lot of problems to encounter based on where season five left off. Aside from the significant changes set to bring everything to a finale, there are also many transitions with the show's creative board. For the first time since The Handmaid's Tale started, the showrunner Bruce Miller would be exiting the show in this final season, where he's probably needed the most. Bruce is leaving The Handmaid's Tale to focus on a new spin-off series, Testaments. However, Bruce's absence in this final season might not be noticeable because the show is still in the competent hands of Eric Tuckman and Yalin Chang, the current writers and executive producers of the series. The Handmaid's Tale, set up after Margaret Atwood's novel, will have a different ending from the one in the book, but that's pretty much obvious considering that the show has deviated from the book since the very beginning. According to the former showrunner Bruce, the book didn't have a satisfying ending and they plan to write more and make it a perfect finish that will be touching and crucial to the whole story. The ending of The Handmaid's Tale will be so heavy that the viewers will get to carry that weight around and never forget how the tale at Gilead ended. While discussing June's ending, Bruce started with how her story began and how many women like her in history just lived and had no names. Although some managed to tell their story, like June, they were never known because their tales got lost and vanished in the face of history. But with the show, it's different because June isn't just a handmaid. June's handmade story started when her child was snatched away and ended when she escaped from Gilead. However, Bruce doesn't want her just to be gone and done with like the book made it seem when he said, but June doesn't disappear from the world. She's a real human woman. Just because she's not on our radar doesn't mean she doesn't exist. So there's much more to June's story and it will all be exposed in this final season. When it comes to The Handmaid's Tale, exploitation of women could be the whole point, but there are still bonuses for love affairs and it looks like the romance in this show is also about to take on a new look, especially with June and Nick. At the end of season five, it was as if June and Nick's love kept growing every second as all they could think of was themselves. And even though they didn't see each other in the season five finale, their thoughts were always about each other. And these lovely romantic feelings are about to be fully blown in the season six as it will be one of the main focuses of how June's story ends. Since The Handmaid's Tale is ending, another vital thing that the new showrunners will do is bridge the gaps and solve many of the unanswered questions from season five. Serena and June could finally form an alliance, as the last time viewers saw them was when they were both on a train leaving for Hawaii. If you recall, Mark Tuello made arrangements for June to escape. However, it's not clear how Serena smuggled herself into the same train yet. But right now, Serena and June are the women who know every big secret of Gilead. And since Mark helped June escape, he might not be willing to let June and Serena go outside where he couldn't keep an eye on them. Also, he might decide that the best way to have them both under his control is to keep them close to Gilead. Just like Commander Lawrence founded New Bethlehem under the same rules as Gilead, but with promises of liberation. Interestingly, Mark Tuello's plans will barely succeed because these two women are now on their own and their interaction with each other could undo a lot and make Gilead crumble entirely. So Serena and June's union is one of the crazy things viewers can look forward to in season six and you can already guess how that could turn out. While June and Serena are still free in some ways, a much sadder fate awaits Nick and Luke after their arrest in season five. Despite Nick's hatred for the practice at Gilead, he has always pretended to be okay with it. But at the end of the last season, he finally gave up, which led to his arrest. So Nick might also be able to get himself out of his arrest, but it won't be easy for him to achieve as there are many dangers ahead of him, whether he tries or not. Nick is a known face, so he won't have a hard time as much as Luke would. As a refugee who got rid of a Canadian, prison would be a rough experience for Luke, and his future in season six looks hopeless. And at the end of season six, Luke and Nick could both be fighting for their lives and might even lose them, which could be the price June has to pay for freedom. Having derailed from the novel season six could also take some of the new storylines from another of Margaret's books, The Testaments. And in
in the Testaments, there's an upgraded role for most of the handmaids, which is about them going to Canada and bringing more ladies to Gilead, and this set of women are called Pearl Girls. However, Aunt Lydia will be one of the reasons for this new establishment, as she aims to destroy Gilead by pretending to be at the forefront of everything. After Janine was arrested in season five, Aunt Lydia will probably convince the commanders not to get rid of her, but use her to their advantage, which will birth Pearl Girls. So Janine could end up being the first Pearl Girl, and that simple action would be the undoing of Gilead and the end to its existence. Like June, Aunt Lydia also has a vital role in season six, as she's rumored to be the nemesis of Gilead in a somewhat surprising turn. Anne Dowd, who portrayed the role, is really impressed by what's in store for Aunt Lydia. The actress said, I was thrilled, let's get real on that, by what Aunt Lydia does and how she does it, her understanding of Gilead to its core, and what will bring it down. However, there's one thing that's still not clear, which is how Aunt Lydia got involved in the messy operations of Gilead. And Anne thinks she perfectly understands as she explains further that Aunt Lydia had to do that to survive the realities of things. Also, she didn't just take on the role to be the leader of the handmaids, but also to be so good at it that it will be hard to tell she detests every moment of it. Although there's a spin-off of The Handmaid's Tale with the same story already in the works, the writers could include some of it into the show and final season to give it an exciting but shocking end. One of the consistent things about The Handmaid's Tale is that most of the cast members always return. And since the show is about June, the actress who plays the role, Elizabeth Moss, will be returning. Serena is also at the forefront of what's happening next in Gilead, so Yvonne Strahovski will return for this role. As mentioned earlier, viewers will see Aunt Lydia for who she is, and Anne Dowd is ready to take everyone by surprise with her character. Nick still has a lot to unravel, and he still has to let June know just how much he loves her. So Max Minkella will be reprising his role. Luke might not be June's sweetheart again, but he's still the father of her child. So the actor who portrays the role, O.T. Fagbenley, will bring all emotions on board as he struggles in custody. Many other supporting characters will return as well. However, a cast like Alexis Bledel will be unable to return. The actress who played Emily in the show was written off in season five after she asked to leave. Alexis's statement while leaving was conclusive, although she mentioned no reason behind her departure. Samira Wiley's presence in season five as Moira turned out low, even though she was a big part of the first three seasons. But hopefully she gets to be a regular face in season six. Even Amanda Brugel's participation wasn't encouraging, but the actress will return to play her part as Rita in season six. At the time, Bruce explained that the poor development of Rita and Moira's characters in season five was due to Alexis's exit, as their story was tied with Emily, and without Emily, there's nothing much left for Rita and Moira in the series. The Handmaid's Tale 6, which was previously predicted to release later in 2023, might be getting a new release window seeing as filming is yet to start. Bradley Whitford, who plays Commander Lawrence, revealed in February 2023 that filming would begin in August. And if the writer's strike doesn't delay things further, The Handmaid's Tale's sixth and final season will start showing early 2024, as production time only takes about five to six months. What do you think of the first look at what's expected to happen in The Handmaid's Tale 6? Share your thoughts in the comments, and thanks for watching.